When solving mixture problems with a final amount, first define the variables. Next, make an equation for the amount. And finally, make an equation for the mix. Let's look at example one. In example one, a chemist needs to create 100 milliliters of a 30% acid solution. On hand, she has a 20% acid solution and a 50% acid solution. So these are her two acid solutions. She needs to create a 100 milliliter solution at this percent of acid. We need to know how many milliliters of each, each should she use. We'll call A and B the two different acid solutions. A will represent the milliliters at 20 percent acid and B will represent the milliliters at 50 percent acid. We know that if we add A and B together, we'll get 100 milliliters and we also know that point 2A plus point 5B is equal to point 38 times the total number of milliliters. What this is saying is, first, we just have amounts that equal a total amount. Next, we have a percentage of that amount plus a percentage of the other amount that will give you a percentage of acid out of all the milliliters in the solution. Now I need to create a system of equations where one of the terms will drop out. If I multiply by negative two, sorry, negative point two throughout the first equation, my a's will then drop out. I'll go ahead and distribute my negative point two. Rewriting my second equation, I can now add the two equations together to get point three B is equal to eighteen. If I divide both sides by point three, I get B is equal to 60. If B is equal to 60, we know A plus B is equal to 100. And so A plus 60 is equal to 100. So A is equal to 40. We now know that we need 40 milliliters of 20 percent acid and we need 60 milliliters of 50 percent acid. Let's look at example two. A coffee distributor needs to mix a coffee blend that normally sells for 890 per pound with another coffee blend that normally sells for 11.16 per pound. How many pounds of each kind of coffee should be mixed in the distributor if the distributor needs 50 pounds of the new mixture? Well, we know we have a coffee type A and a coffee type B. We'll call A 
the pounds of coffee that will be mixed that's valued at $8.90 a pound. And B will represent the pounds of coffee that are valued at not uh, 11 16 per pound. From here we can write an equation that states A plus B or the amount of each type of coffee equals 50 pounds total. It says that right there. Our second equation should state how much coffee at what price. So we know that the first type of coffee is 890 per pound times the number of pounds plus 1116 times the number of pounds of B equals 50 pounds and we want We want coffee that sells for $9.85 a pound. You can add this to your workbook. So now, we have two equations. If we multiply the first equation by negative 8.9, we can then drop out our A terms. Fifty times negative eight point nine is four forty five. The other equation remains the same. Adding these together, we get 226B is equal to 47.50. Dividing by 226 on both sides, we get B is equal to 21.017. Go ahead and just round it to 21 pounds. If B is 21 pounds and A plus B is equal to 50, then A plus 21 is equal to 50 and A is equal to 29. This means you'll need 29 pounds at 890 a pound and 21 pounds at 1116 a pound.